So, so I've been told I can start. So if you're not here, just let me know. I sh okay, so no one's not here that doesn't want to be here. So, okay, so I'm talking very loudly. I'm Dan Vogel, so I'm uh, obviously a professor here, and my research area is in human-computer inter interaction. And I'm here, I guess, advertising or telling you about a course I'm doing this winter to try to, you know, so you don't take all your courses in the fall. And it's in, as the says, it's in applied computer vision for human-computer interaction. So I'll explain what that is. See, look, it doesn't work now. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, we'll debug this after because that's going to be, it's not going to help me with my course advertisement. Okay, so, so let's talk. Um, so what are the, what are you going to learn in this course, right? So there's basically three things. And one of them is a little bit, maybe a little bit different than some other grad courses. So first of all, you'll get some familiarity with HCI research using computer vision. And I'll explain a little bit about that in a moment, what computer vision means or how I define it. Um, but also you'll get a knowledge of some fundamental computer vision algorithms. So this isn't an undergraduate course in computer vision algorithms, but we do talk about specific algorithms. In fact, you giving seminars will actually explain some of these algorithms to other students in the class. And you'll also do some exercises, which also is a little bit unusual in an 889 course or 800 level course. So the first eight weeks, there are weekly exercises. They're, they're pretty simple, like programming assignments. And it's to get you up to speed in some basic things using um, a library called OpenCV. And this really helps you in the project. So yeah, um, it's important to note, so I'm, there's no previous experience in human-computer interaction. So that's totally fine. We sort of cover the basics, at least in terms of this topic. And no previous experience in computer vision. So you don't have to have taken an undergraduate computer vision course. Sometimes it helps. To be honest, sometimes it hinders a bit, because then you, maybe you know too much and you sort of avoid the simple kind of easier techniques. So what do we cover? Well, like any 800 level course, we read a lot of research papers, and they're research papers that unsurprisingly merge HCI and computer vision. Um, a lot of them are using it as a sensor, so doing kind of um, novel or interesting ways to interact, mid-air gestures, um, new kinds of uh, touch input on different surfaces, um, lots of things that that maybe you can't do with a conventional computer, and computer vision is the enabling technology. So you read a lot of kind of like cool papers with, with cool videos that, that are kind of make you think a bit, and sometimes you think like that's a terrible idea, but that's okay, that's part of the discussion, right? We should talk about these things. It's research, it doesn't have to be a, it's not Kickstarter. Um, the programming exercises, so every week, there's um, a simple task you have to accomplish. And over the eight weeks of these exercises, at the end, you you're, can do enough in OpenCV to actually do a real course project. So it's everything from, just to give you an idea of the level, the first exercise is get an OpenCV installed. Because sometimes this is non-trivial. Some of you, or some people, it takes a couple of minutes. You know, if you use Mac and Brew or Mac ports, it's usually pretty quick. On Windows, that could be a weekend. So, so be prepared. But once that's done, then everything is, is OK. And then we do basic things like some basic uh, um, thresholding, motion tracking, um, use some of the built-in libraries like head tracking. And you have a very simple little task. You submit it. I actually do mark it. But I mark it very much like you did it. And you provide me some evidence that you did it. This isn't like I'm not cr critiquing your code. We typically use Python in Jupyter Notebooks. So they're kind of very easy to prototype like that, although you can use other languages. So some examples of some of the projects that people have done in the past. Um, so here's one example. So one student um, who, had, who had no computer vision knowledge before um, created a system where they could print out different kinds of instruments on like a keyboard, for example. And then they wrote an algorithm that could recognize what piece of paper, what instrument was down in front of the camera, um, rectify it, and then detect when your finger goes in front of the keys and you could play a little song, which is, which is pretty neat. Um, here's another one I really like. So it was called uh, Finger Hero, which is pretty great. And by attaching some colored markers to fingers, um, made this little stick figure you could run and jump and do kicks and kind of like the beginnings of some kind of neat little game. So pretty neat idea. So one's using color tracking, one's using um, some thresholding and, and um, contour matching. Um, pretty basic techniques. We're not, this isn't a course about um, convolutional neural networks and, and, and deep learning. It's about using sort of the, the basic fast techniques that exist in OpenCV to do HCI. So, um, so here's the structure, like I said. So there's a big chunk for participation. So basically show up and talk. Um, we have 
typically about 16 paper reviews. It depends how many people take the course. That's 10% of your mark. Um, these programming exercises, which are marked quite liberally, um, is 15%. And then 15% to do a seminar presentation. And as I said, when you do your seminar presentation, not only do you present, read and present a research paper, but you also present um, the one particular computer vision technique that was used in that paper. So you might teach someone about uh, morphological operations or something like that. So you do a tutorial and a paper. And then of course there's a big project at the end. So I don't have the website for winter 18 up, but you can look at winter 17, which I ran last winter. It's, it's gonna be very similar. I'm gonna change some of the papers and things like that, but the structure you can already get a sense. Um, yeah, so, and I should let you know that, I mean, at least last year there was something like 50 people that showed up to the very first class, and it was, it was you know, full very quickly. Um, it, is, it is a fair bit of work, just to be clear. You should still come and check it out, but you have to, like, students tell me that there's a fair bit in doing the programming assignments, but they do enjoy it. So if you like coding and you like building things, but you also like research into sort of novel, crazy ideas, this is probably a course for you. If you don't like programming, don't like, you know, working with toolkits sometimes fight you back, you know, maybe think twice about this one. So, great. Okay, well, that's, that's it for mine. So. Do I, do I ask for questions or that's it? They don't, no one can ask questions? Okay. <laughs>